Hey guys, Coleman, the Up North Picker here. So the other day I was at the auction and a bunch of these like Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars came up. There was this whole case. And this case is uh, 1976 Matchbox case. And it was loaded with cars. There's 40 some cars in here. And I got a chance to just look at it for a second. And I seen there was an A team van, and I'm not sure how much an A team van is worth, but I'm pretty sure I had it as a kid and it was pretty cool. And so I decided to bid on this lot because I figured the box itself had to be worth something. Plus, there's 40 some cars, and I ended up bidding, and I bid a little more than I actually would have liked to, but I ended up getting getting the whole deal for twenty five dollars. And so in this video, I'm going to show you what I got for twenty five dollars and. Hopefully I'll make some money on it. So, of course, starting out, got the case. Start with some of these cars. Got this yellow Hot Wheels 2001 Mattel Thailand Slingshot. Now, there's 40-some cars. And I don't know, if I would have seen it was all 2001 stuff, I probably wouldn't have bought it, but what I had looked, I know there's some 70s and 80s stuff, and so that's what I'm kind of looking for. Hot Wheels, 38 Dodge, Dodge Dart, October 2003, or no, DCC 2003, Malaysia, Hot Wheel Dodge Dart. Maui Graphics, number 17. It's the Matchbox Ford Thunderbird, 1992. It's the 1999 Hot Wheels. Manufactured for the MCD Corporation, which I don't know if that's McDonald's or what, but it's Hot Wheels. There's a Batmobile. It's Hot Wheels, trademarked TM and DC Comics 0615 EA Season 5. It's a Batmobile. Newer Batmobile style. Get Real Wheels. 1998 Hot Wheels. We got 1982 Hot Wheels, 80's Corvette. Lotus, Lotus Project 250, M250. This is a 2000 Mattel Hot Wheels. Newer ones are made in China. Intergalactic research. Now the tops move around and stuff up on here. There's like little TV antennas. And I don't know what intergalactic uh, galactic research is. I'm guessing it's from some sort of TV show or movie. It's 1989 Matchbox TV news truck, but I'm guessing that, that intergalactic research is from some sort of movie or show, comic book or something. Nineteen ninety Mattel made in Malaysia it's Hot Wheels. It's not really sure what it is, it's a yellow something. Tucker Team Racing Jeep. Little stuff on the wheels there. Two thousand Hasbro. 
it's a Maisto. It's Maisto. It's a different brand. Dodge Viper, Matchbox, Viper R10, 1994. Well, here's a cold trickle from Days of Thunder, number 46, City Chevrolet. It's 1990, Days of Thunder, Paramount Pictures. Pretty cool. There's a cat safety first. This moves. It's Matchbox. Crane truck made in England. 1976. Lesney Productions. That's pretty cool. It's an old 70s one. Bigfoot. 26. Matchbox Mini Pickup, 1981, Bigfoot. There's a little cow in here. <laughs> it's a boat, police speed boat, with a little plastic guy. Matchbox. Number 52 police launch made in England 1976 Lesney Productions. It's got a little wheels on the bottom so it can roll. Police boat. Be cool. Alright, here's the A Team van. This was what I saw in there that made me buy the lot because I like the A Team. BA Baracus, Mr. T. 1983. Made by Ertl, made in the USA, Stephen J. Cannell Productions. It's even got serial number 117, probably a 4. Made in the USA though, old Ertl. Here's another one. Here's Face Man's car. It's a replica, what does it say? Ertl. Replica Chevy Corvette, 11104, made in the USA. Face Mans, Corvette, Sweet Ride, A Team, so two A Team vehicles in there. There's a fire truck. It's Hot Wheels, made in Hong Kong, Fire Eater, Mattel 1976. If you know anything about any of these, go ahead and comment in the comment down below. Let me know, or if you're interested in any of them or anything like that. It's another fire truck, like a Dodge. It's a number 13 snorkel fire engine, matchbox, super fast. Made in England, 1977. Lesney Products. Cool. So a lot of these are vintage. Here we have a Chrysler. This is a 1984 Dodge Daytona Turbo Z Matchbox, made in England. 1984 Turbo Z. Yeah, this is what the 80s had for sports cars that weren't Corvettes. Fire Department. Speedy Fire Department car. Matchbox. Oh, Hot Wheels. 1969 Mattel. I mean Hong Kong Hot Wheels from 1969. Now I don't know a lot about these, but this is pretty old. I've heard that you want to find red lines, which I believe means they have red lines around the tires. I don't think there's any red lines in here, but I guess I'm always on the lookout. Here's another Days of Thunder, Cold Trickle 51 Mellow Yellow. So there's two cold Days of Thunder cars in here. That's cool. 
1990 from Applause. So they're a little different, but cool. Palm Beach van. Kind of a hippie beach van. Hot Wheels, GMC Motorhome, 1976. Got this guy, I believe. It's a trailer for hauling probably what those cows are for that I seen earlier. Hauls, hauls a cow or a horse or something in there. Yeah, I'm guessing that that's where that little cow is from. This is Matchbox, number 40 horse box, made in England, 1977. So, cool little piece. Nissan Fair Lady 280Z, number 15. 1979, made in Japan. It's Atomica, 161th. 1979, it's different. A little different brand there. So there's a couple cars in here that aren't Matchbox or Hot Wheels, but I don't know. Rollomatics, Matchbox Rollomatics. Got the little deal on here that that spins. Red wheels. Number 57, Wildlife Truck, 1973. Matchbox made in England, Leslie Products. Rolls might be a little bent. Cannonball Run. That sticker's a little bent up. Ferrari Dino 246GT from Ertl. Made in Hong Kong. There's no year on it, but Cannonball Run, so I think that was late 70s. I'm sure they made it when the movie came out. I believe that was late 70s. Four-wheel drive. More plastic. Oh, the bottom looks different. Almost looks like, yeah, almost looks like this is a transformer. Uh oh. Holy buckets. I don't know if I want to do too much. Whoa. Well, it appears to be some sort of transformer. I don't know if there's any arms or not, or how to get the rest of it transformed. But uh, I'll have to look this one up more because this is an interesting piece. Trying to find some sort of tag on there. You guys know anything about this? Let me know. Oh, yep. Seeing on the inside here. I see Japan. 1984. Alright, all I can tell right now is it says Japan 1984. I don't know if this is a Transformers or if it's like Takara or something like that, like a, like the Japanese brand. I'm definitely going to have to do some more research on this guy. Because if it's 1984, then that's probably around Generation 1, so that guy might be actually worth some money. That's cool. I didn't even notice that. Oh, we got a... T314 McLaren M8A. Once again, I don't see a brand or nothing, but it's a McLaren. I'm sure there's enough numbers on there to look it up, though. Yeah, some of these kind of got bent wheels, but I remember that as a kid. I think you could bend them right back and just hope you don't break them, I guess. Hot Wheels, 
1957 Chevy, made in 1976, Hot Wheel, 57 Chevy, it's cool. This is made in France, Majorette Crazy Car. 1155, number 223, made in France. ECH 155. It's a crazy car. Majorette. That's different. Here we have a trailer that opens in the back. I don't know, it probably goes on one of them other vehicles. Yeah, like here's a little cow, bull. Matchbox Rolls Royce, Silver Shadow, made in England, 1979. Doors even open. Rolls Royce, pretty spiffy. But here's this. Doesn't appear to have any wheels though, so I think this piece is missing some parts. Stomper, manufactured, well made in Minneapolis, made in Macau. It's a Stomper from Schaefer Manufacturing. Oh yeah, that's got got the give on the wheels, but it seems to be missing the wheels. I don't know. That's definitely going to need some research. The Batmobile. That looks like the older style. So, Corgi Juniors, made in Britain, 1976, DC Comics, Batmobile. So I got two Batmobiles. Another truck, looks like a little broken there. Matchbox, 1976. Made in England, number 71 cattle truck. Yeah, so probably some of those cows are probably supposed to go in the back there. Looks like they broke a piece and got out though. Got an ambulance. From the Cannonball Run ambulance. Ford van made in Hong Kong by Ertl. For some reason Ertl doesn't seem to put years on the bottom of their stuff. But it's from Cannonball Run so it should be able to be dated probably, I think that movie was late 70s. Here's Mattel 1980 Hot Wheels. It's painted white so it kind of almost covers up the whole Maker's Mark, but... And so it's hard to even read what this is. It's weird. But yeah, Mattel, Hot Wheels. Turbo Firebird. I don't know if that was supposed to have the Firebird up here or not. Almost looks like that maybe got wore away. But it might not actually have had it either. It's from Ertl. Made in Hong Kong. Once again, Ertl doesn't put, doesn't put the year. But this is most likely from late 70s, early 80s. Here we have Oh, look at this funny car. Hood comes up. Matchbox, 57 Chevy, 1979. Sweet car. Another Matchbox Rollomatic. It's got the spinner in the back here. 
Number 57 wildlife truck. Cool paint scheme. 1973. Made in England. Hardy's. Looks like we got another, yep, another Days of Thunder. Hardy's car. Made by Applause, 1990. These were all made for the movie, I think. And last one of the bunch. Got a cop sheriff's car. Cop car. Kind of a almost a gold paint scheme. Old school sheriff. This is an Ertl replica. It's a replica from Ertl. The 1998 Pontiac Bonneville sheriff's car. Yeah, a lot of these wheels are kind of bent, but... Well, so, that's what I was able to pick up. I paid $25 for this whole lot of cars. And so, if you see anything in there that, that's cool or rare or valuable, let me know. But I'll just have to spend the time to to research them and possibly, you know, throw like the Days of Thunder cars together and that kind of stuff. The Cannonball Run cars together, potentially. Or just lot up Ertl or whatever. But I think for $25, I should do all right. I don't really have a base on what they're worth, but I imagine even they're worth a couple dollars a piece at worst, so... And there was 40, in the low 40s, a number of cars in there. Paid 25, and I got the case too. So I think I should do pretty well. Alright, if you guys like this video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Um, well, looking to get more subscribers, but this week hopefully I'll get at least two more videos out to you this week. It's really busy time of year, this time of year right now. Man, I'm packaging up packages. My male lady's got to love me because it's going to be just loaded up from now on, I think, for the next week or two anyway. So, Coleman, the Up North Picker, out.